Good morning and welcome to the 2020 Computer School graduation. Welcome to family members, welcome to the Computer School teaching staff, and most of all, welcome to the 2020 eighth grade Computer School class. Today you're going to hear from classmates, you're going to hear songs, you're going to hear a speech from Mr. Zimmick. You're going to see pictures of yourself from when you were in sixth grade and as you grew up to eighth grade. Enjoy this next hour as we celebrate you. I want to congratulate all my fellow classmates in the graduating class of 2020. We finally reached the day we've been looking forward to since September of 2019, some of us earlier than that. These past three years have been an overwhelming, challenging, and emotional roller coaster for sure, but it was all worth it because without our hard work, determination, perseverance, and support from family, friends, and school staff, we wouldn't have gotten to where we are today. From the first day of sixth grade to today, we have been pushing ourselves to do our very best to stay motivated and apply all our best efforts to all our school work. We have had some good times, we have had some bad times, but I truly believe that here at CS, we have had the best of times. As we look towards the future and the many experiences that await us, remember to reflect on what you have learned these past three years and use that to carry you with pride and determination. Remember to enjoy every moment, savor every experience, and take advantage of every opportunity given to you. Before we know it, we'll be graduating seniors again and then off to college. Do your best and always give your all for everything because even the smallest amount of effort can make a huge difference. Congratulations, class of 2020. We've made it. Joe Montaigne here, also known as David Rossi from Criminal Minds, wishing all the students from the computer school on the Upper West Side, congratulations on your graduation from eighth grade. And I know you're looking forward to your years in high school and you might wanna consider a job with the FBI because I know they're always looking for great talented young men and women. So good luck in your high school years and again, from Joe Montaigne and all the cast at Criminal Minds, congratulations. Hi, I'm Phoebe Buckwalter. It's unbelievable to think that we've made it to eighth grade graduation, but here we are, not physically, but digitally, celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2020. It would be an understatement to say that this has been a monumental year. We've seen the consequences of climate change on the environment, We've experienced the turbulent waters of America's divided political state. We've fallen victim to a deadly pandemic, taking hundreds of thousands of American lives and leading to social and economic consequences. We've been reminded again and again of the tragic dehumanization of Black Americans, the police brutality, the systemic racism, and the legal injustices that have plagued America for centuries. One thing is clear. Change is so long overdue. We are inheriting this planet, perhaps in the worst state it has ever been in. It is our responsibility to rebuild the world that we want to leave future generations. A world where everyone feels safe, a world where federal leaders focus on humanity and not politics, a world where everyone has the right to live and breathe. I truly believe that this generation, my generation, is going to repair this broken planet and restore its beauty. It's minds blowing to think about how much this class has grown over the past three years. When we set foot in the computer school on September 7th, 2017, we were babies. Our parents' biggest fear was that we wouldn't return from lunch out. Most of us came back. When we first tiptoed through the halls of our middle school, we were innocent and wide-eyed, and looking at the intimidatingly tall eighth graders, it seemed impossible that we would ever get there too. But the most pivotal transformations in our computer school careers weren't our physical growth spurts. This metamorphosis was slower and more rewarding and it began in our minds. At the beginning of sixth grade, we had never been attorneys in a court case enforcing the establishment clause or actors in a Shakespearean play. 
We weren't masterful artists, mediocre ballroom dancers, Spanish students, journalists, microbiologists, or philosophers. And now, here we are. Chukball champions, Spanish rappers, Broadway-bound performers, CS Olympic medalists, Camp Mason survivors, Shake Shack addicts, viral TikTok superstars, stop motion animators, and determined, though sometimes overconfident geologists. We are yours. For better or for worse, we shaped you and you shaped us. Thank you. We leave this school today metamorphosed. I often pictured what graduating from the computer school would look like. I imagined myself walking down the hallways for the very last time and saying a proper goodbye. I imagined hugging my friends, all things that seem far-fetched now. In these times of uncertainty, there is one thing I'm sure of. I'm sure that we'll come out of this empowered. Empowered to grow up and chase all of the things that we were always told were unachievable. Because as the past few months have shown, the impossible, the unimaginable, the illogical, the inconceivable, all of it is within our reach. Thank you to our families, our friends, our teachers, Mr. Zimmick and Ms. Shalom, and all the staff at the computer school. We'll come visit. And now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain, I've lived a life that's full. Good morning, members of the computer school community. I would first like to start off by thanking all the faculty and staff for supporting my fellow classmates and I across the finish line. Mr. Zimmick, Ms. Shalom, and Ms. Sloves, you've all been so wonderful in setting the tone for learning, growing, compassion, and school community throughout our three years, and especially during this time of quarantine. 
and remote learning. To the teachers, you get a standing ovation. Bravo! With no time at all, you have figured out how to teach us remotely and have shown us your compassion and commitment to us during this time. I would next like to congratulate all of my classmates for completing this chapter in our lives. This is such a major accomplishment. This is a time and milestone to celebrate. Woohoo! We did it! Give yourself a round of applause for completing middle school. The past three years gave us the opportunity to learn about ourselves as learners and humans. I, for one, have developed more confidence as a learner, but probably also developed a routine of procrastination. You know, there's plenty of time, of attitude. I definitely got to work on that. When thinking about what I wanted to share with you all, I thought of my transition to middle school. So I wanted to take us down memory lane. Let's look back to when we were sixth graders, not that long ago. We were fresh out of elementary school and had no idea what would await us. We were stepping foot into unfamiliar territory. It was exhilarating, but also extremely terrifying. But we were so resilient, which ironically was that year's theme, resilience. Do you remember reading the book, The Running Dream and doing your first summer assignment? I had never read a book about someone's experience becoming an amputee. Jessica's journey in overcoming the trauma of, of the car accident, getting a prosthetic leg, and eventually running again was very eye-opening for me. She was so resilient. For me, seventh grade began with the realization that we were all growing and leading in some way. We had grown maybe physically, maybe our social circles expanded, maybe we grew in understanding how middle school works. Maybe we were leaders by mentoring the sixth graders by teaching them the ropes of middle school. I know I got a nostalgic kick, knowing how far I had already come and seeing myself and the worried and lost faces of those sixth graders. In seventh grade, we discovered what makes us feel strong, what empowers us. Personally, I learned that I feel my strongest when I focus on myself and what I value and wanted out of life. I've realized that I was empowered to make my own decisions, and unlike in sixth grade, I didn't focus on the social approval of my peers. This was the theme in seventh grade, empowerment. This theme kept me sane through the pressures of balancing school with musical theater, and thinking about how important grades, scores, and attendance was for the upcoming high school application process. Whew. Our eighth grade year began with the realization that we were now considered seniors. We had become the eighth graders that we thought were so scary and intimidating as sixth graders. We were now faced with the challenge of applying to high schools, the stress of essays, auditions, open houses, tours, and school rankings was all so consuming in the fall. But through it all, we prevailed. We applied and optimistically waited for acceptance letters. Fast forward to March, the month we started in this remote world. We needed to be quarantined to protect ourselves, our families, and communities. And we saw on the, on the news the stress of healthcare workers, unemployment, and loss, and may have experienced this in our own families. And then there came the heightened visibility of systemic racism that plagued this country from 1619. The beginning of moral awakening that needed the momentum of feeling trapped to ignite the passion and conviction for racial justice. This is to say that the last trimester has been a very hard time. I have reflected on the time I have spent at home and personally have gone through so many emotions. I felt sad, shocked, anxious, bored, enraged, devastated, disappointed, hopeful, joyful, proud, playful, courageous, and liberated. I have discovered that the best version of myself, which is all of the above, the good, bad, and ugly, Discovery, self-discovery, the year's theme. And we have all the time in the world to do so. One thing is certain, none of us would be here if it weren't for all the support we had along the way. First, thank you to all the teachers. You have helped us develop to be independent thinkers and have taught us so much, not only just the subjects, but about the responsibility and community. I have loved all the field trips and hands-on projects and all the smiles when we walked through your classroom door. You had high expectations. Sometimes 
you were hard on us because you believed in us and our potential. Thank you. Also to our families. Thank you to my parents and my families, and especially my Nana, for always expecting me to do my very best in school and to be a kind person. I love you all. So, we are now on to high school where we can spend the next four years of our lives to continue to evolve and to become the best version of ourselves that we could possibly be. I will never forget the memories we've made, the opportunities I've had, the friendships I've created, and most of all, the families that I've discovered. In closing, I want to leave you with a quote by the performer, Tyler the Creator. Do what makes you happy, because in the end, who's there? You. So to the graduating class of 2020, follow your dreams. You can do anything. Become the best version of yourself. Lead with purpose, and thank you. You have made my time at the computer school beyond memorable. All my best to each of you on your next journey into high school. Hey everybody, this is your old pal John Stamos and I'm wishing you all congratulations on your graduation. In front of all you guys, it's a computer school, right? Well, congratulations, and I know it's probably a bummer that you have to have this virtual graduation, but if you're watching this on your screen or your computer or whatever it is, look at that reflection. You see the face you're seeing right now? Your face? That's the face you always count on. Right, kids, we need you. Save this world, will you? God bless you all. Congratulations. Good morning, computer school community from our virtual world. I've always wanted to have an adventure like Harry Potter or the Avengers, one where I would fight and face villains. But CS taught me that the magic in these stories are closer to reality than I thought. I've come to the conclusion that life is an adventure in itself and the computer school has taught me how to live it to the fullest extent possible. Before I came here, I didn't feel attached to my own culture. However, when I started sixth grade and we studied identity, I was pushed into looking into who I was and my heritage. When we started to share parts of ourselves, I realized differences were a part of being human. Denying these things didn't make them less true. I learned to embrace every aspect of who I was, and because of this, investigating identity was far more enjoyable. Every year, we started with the same activity. We wrote our name in the center of a page and surrounded it with words that described us. Words like sister, introvert, athlete, determined, shy, American, the youngest of my family, and anything and everything else. We scribbled words on a paper that made up who we were. Each year we did this, and each year new words were written and old ones were not. My name has always been a Mihan, but the words around my name have evolved. We've changed since sixth grade. We've grown up. We've matured. Our identity has adapted. We've also learned how to make hard decisions in the face of peer pressure. Enrichment not only introduced the idea of choosing our own classes, but it also allowed for us to have a class with all of our friends. Naturally, when it came down to choosing our enrichments, most chose the one that their friends did, myself included. By the time the second trimester came around, I strayed from this idea and chose an enrichment I was interested in. It turns out occasionally making the harder decision is the better one. When it comes between choosing what everyone else is and what you love, there is no choice at all. Going through these challenges alone is never easy. That's why it's important to surround yourself with people who see you for who you really are. Sometimes you don't see this right away. One of my closest friends was not someone I used to get along with. When we first met, we didn't like each other because of our first impression. But as I gave her a chance and we got to know each other, I learned that we were more alike than we thought. The thing is, if you let your first judgment affect your opinion of a person too much, it can get in the way of the joy that comes with friendship. CS has brought other amazing relationships. I've met people I trust more than anything, people I can rely on, and people I can laugh with. All of these people and teachers have brought a community to me that feels like a family. This is what I will miss the most about the computer school, the feeling of community. I will miss Sean kicking me out of Mr. Jirasi's room after school, the laughter in Miss Wings and the singing in Miss Jackson's, the arguments with Mr. Novick, the Shakespeare with Miss Chu and Miss Capiello, and Miss Kasoon and Mr. Zimmick's cheesy or assigned jokes. The moments where someone screams free food or a substitute performs the opera for us. The small laughable things like someone buying a churro on a field trip, Miss Weiss always remembering a birthday, or AA leaving the rest of 8th grade on a train going straight to 125th. Whether you met your friends in the classroom hallways or doing push-ups in the recess yard, it is the people that make this school such an amazing and diverse community, the ones you trust, support, and rely on. These are the kind of people you should hold on to and cherish. 
My experience at the computer school has taught me valuable lessons that I plan to carry on throughout my life. Embrace who you are because who you are is beautiful. Follow your passion regardless of what other people think. Hold on to the friendships that truly see you and support you and surround yourself in a community that feels like family. I've genuinely had some of the best three years of my life here, and while I haven't been fighting monsters or facing life-threatening trials, I've had a sincere, thrilling adventure. As Oscar Wilde once said, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. So here's to us, the class of 2020, living rather than existing. I want to acknowledge some adults today. First, I want to congratulate Ms. Riley and Ms. Lurkey. Ms. Riley, our IEP teacher and longtime art teacher at the computer school, and Ms. Lurkey, our longtime speech provider, are both retiring this year. I know you join me in offering them a warm, warm congratulations and best of luck in their new ventures. Secondly, I want to thank all of the staff at the computer school. We're a small team, and so we work across job title, across license, across subject area to do our best to support all kids. And just a giant thanks to the computer school staff for everything they did this spring. Finally, on the staff front, thank you to Mr. Novick, whose humility and love is what made today's graduation come together. And of course, we can't thank adults without thanking the parents, the family, the siblings of our eighth grade graduates. Middle school is always a hard time to parent and adding distance learning certainly added to it. Thank you for everything you did, of course, for your kid, but also for us, for the support, for the feedback, and for your partnership. Dear Computer School Class of 2020, I think it's fair to say that it has been one heck of a school year. We started with a computer school baby boom, which provided us with seven of the Earth's most beautiful newborns, but left huge voids to fill in our classrooms and beyond. And just as our new moms returned and things looked like they were getting back to normal, something called COVID-19 impacted our lives like a hurricane. It is hard to come up with words to express the deep sorrow I feel when thinking first and foremost about our friends and families who were hit hardest by this pandemic, especially those who have tragically lost loved ones. And I ask that you please keep them in your thoughts. It was back on March 15th when we were told that all New York school buildings were closing indefinitely and that we would have to make a full transition to remote learning. Since then, all of us have been burdened by a profound sense of loss, loss of companionship and of freedom, loss of family celebrations and of comfortable routines. And as graduating seniors who will be on divergent paths to different high schools, your sense of loss is particularly acute. You didn't get to savor your last months together in our classrooms, on field trips, on senior week activities. Our hearts truly go out to you and to graduating seniors and their families everywhere. And as bad as COVID-19 has been, a string of incidents reminded us of an even more terrible plague that has been around far longer and has taken far more lives. The plague of racism and violence against black Americans. Our nation was rocked to its core as we bore witness to yet another unspeakably brutal crime committed by a police officer against an unarmed black citizen. And once again, we were tragically reminded of just how far we are from having a just and equitable society for all of our nation's people. But all of this adversity has also brought out the best in people of character. Just as millions of friends, neighbors, first responders, and healthcare workers have done heroic work in helping us to survive this pandemic, Millions have answered the call to action and have taken to the streets to demand social justice, as the names of George Floyd and so many other victims of violence steeped in racism continue to ring out every day in cities and in towns, big and small, all across our nation. The computer school community stands more resolute than ever 
in its belief that black lives matter and will continue to strive to inspire our students to live this truth in all their future endeavors and to demand the change that must take place so that our nation can put an end to racism and injustice in all of its forms once and for all. We have every confidence that the computer school class of 2020 will do its part. Yes, graduates, you continue to impress me. As you did the first time we gathered you together in our cafeteria back in September 2017. As the slideshow will demonstrate, you've experienced so much together and have grown before our eyes in all ways imaginable. And it has been a joy for us to share these experiences with you. Please know that you have represented our school and its core values as well as any of the graduating classes that came before you. And you should take great pride in having been more than up to this moment of great societal distress. Even though we didn't get to end the year the way we wanted to, I am convinced that all of you will take away something truly special and unique from this historic time. Most importantly, you will take away the gift of perspective. Because you have lived through all this, you will have a greater awareness of what's really important in life and will never take even the simplest things for granted ever again. You will be more resilient when faced with any adversity that awaits you in the future. And you will treasure more than ever the relationships you have made across racial and cultural lines. And you will have each other's backs now and always. And you will know that each of you has the ability to be an agent of positive change, especially if you let all of the things you have learned in computer school guide your thoughts. And of course, you'll always have Ms. Shalom's words of wisdom. I wish you all the best in your transition to high school. And I look forward to hearing about your many accomplishments in the future. And to the days when handshakes, high fives, and hugs are back in fashion, especially when you come to visit, and you better. Until then, please stay well, make wise choices, and continue to use your words and deeds to make us proud and honored to know you and to have you represent our school wherever you go. Thank you and safe travels and long live the computer school. Adia Abdur Rahman. Gaia Alexander. Dominique Alston. Norris Anderson. Miguel Astudillo. Khan Atilgan. Lola Ballester Yasso. Emil Bektesevich. Sam Burner. Bronwyn Birnat Goldberg. Joseph Brandwin. Uma Bredo Marti. Phoebe Buckwalter. Nathan Bertman. Rocco Cadiz. Olivia Caracchioli.
Natalia Sinatis. Kyle Chang. Ethan Sarita. Nicholas Clark. Malachi Connors. Liam Conroy. Gabriel Cooney. Ilana Cope. Amy Corona Riley. Ethan Cortez. Jaden Cruz. Matthew Kuby. Ariana Kukovic. Sophie Dallowin. Ryan Davis. Devin Decatur. Amihan Del Rosario Tapan. Nora Dimac. Alex Duchatelier. Benjamin Edelson. Lars Entz. Mathilde Enzo. Mel Escobar Masson. Amelia Espinal. Hudson Fogel. Anthony Ford. Aiden Francia Cotter. Griffin Fredrickson. Dylan Friedrichs. Lily Gilman. Ella Guarino. Angie Hay. Beckett Hendy. Luis Harris. Right 
Sophie Hill. Amar Hot. Ellie Kristen Inse. Fauzia Islam. Drew Jackson. Nicholas Jarrell. Roland Jenkins. Maya Kazemi. Anusha Khan. Hazrat Khan. Hudson King. Luke Kramer. Meredith Crinky. Michael Cole. Jasper Cuther. Dryton Lodgkey. Nina Legum. Julian Lemper Turkisher. Max Lipsis. Shira Listoken. Camilla Laura Acosta. Madison Lord. Melvin Lowe. Benjamin Lutherbach. Aiden Maloney. Sebastian Martinez. Margo Morsari. Baccio Mbai. Benjamin McCracken. Hudson McKinley Us. Karen Mejia. Maximiliano Mesh. Scotia Millar. Sean Montero.
Xavier Montero. Gustavo Morales Salgado. Mia Muniz. Sazida Munfaha. Lexi Natal. Solana Orteco Rose. Erin Park. Hero Park. Nicole Peppa. Aditya Persaud. Madeline Pila. Chloe Pina. Jared Plenty. Plummer. Allegra Quimby. Methella Rahman. Samara Rashid. Emma Reed. Nyla Reed. Florence Regan. Bisma Riaz. Hayden Regia. Christopher Rockwood. Lila Rodkin. Daniel Rodriguez. Isaiah Rosen. Mia Rothschild. Mia Ruiz. Ariel Sasson. Aditya Shah. Rebecca Sidi. Jose Sierra. Lily Silverman. Katie Solis.
Jose Soto Jr. Olivia Stola. Amelia Sushanik. Nigel Swinson. Ethan Tan. Jamaica Thomas. Joshua Tillery. Esme Topsic. Alexander Van Vliet. TJ Wada. Genesis Ward. Nyla Watkins. Clara Wenzel. Martin Wu. Congratulations to the Computer School Class of 2020.